Cornell is no longer a mere backyard game leisurely played amongst friends. This is a professional sport with its own league. Tournaments broadcasting on ESPN and CBS Sports and real money on the line. Teaming up with the ACL this season are actors Shamar Moore and David Lim. They've become such cornhole enthusiasts that they've transformed a portion of Shamar's backyard into a cornhole haven, dubbing it Airmail City. Together they're creating an unprecedented high stakes postseason pro invitational tournament for the top eight finishing male and female pro singles players. A $100,000 prize pool on the line, and it's all set to take place in Hollywood at Airmail City. Follow us on the road across the country to each of the four national tournaments followed by the World Championships as we watch the pros battle it out for the coveted top 16 slots, earning their golden ticket to Airmail City. Hollywood, here we come. Which eight men and eight women will make it to the top to participate in this exclusive celebrity event? This is the road to Airmail City. We made it to Salt Lake City. ACL bag brawl, dead center in the middle of the season. We're halfway home. Who's going to Airmail City? I don't know. Let's go find out. We got a lot of corn to go. Maya Cup, how's it going? I'm doing great. Hit a quick one for us. Hit us with a quick airmail so we can keep it moving. Bip! What's going on, what, fellas? This is the amateur area. You just you, you get to hang out with them or? That's called championship. I'm the best seven PPR in the game. Look at that. Ready to go, confident, ready to win a championship, bro. That's what we came here for. Oh, and I'm banging in the goat over here. That was an accident. <laughs> Don't be banging into the goat too early, guys. The kid wonder right here. Kid wonder, what's going on in your head? I feel like if I play my game, I'm gonna make it far. I just gotta keep my head in it. And if I lose one, I just gotta get back up and throw some more. Hit us with something nice, kid wonder. Look at that. You can't do that when you were 12, 13, 9, 80. You're never gonna do that. Kicking it off at Bag Brawl with a look at the women in pro singles. It's no surprise to find Cheyenne Renner leading the pack as the top seeded female with a 27 point lead over the second seed. Making history in the 2021 season by placing second in singles overall at the World Championships where she was also the women's singles champion, cemented Cheyenne as a 2021 ACL Woman of the Year. How are you feeling about your bracket? Um, I mean, I want to feel good. So I want to say I'm confident about it. I don't really know who I have to play. I, mean, I am a bracket watcher. Is that playing differently? Does that mean you're going to work on uh, different angles of, uh, depending on what player you're playing? No, I usually don't try to change my game because that's when I mess my own stuff up. So I just try to keep Slide them down the middle. <laughs> it's a tighter race for the top spots in pro singles among the men. We want to find out what happened to Jordan Power, the 22-year-old from Michigan who dropped from a four-way tie for fifth going into Cornhole Mania to 245th once all was said and done in Atlantic City. What's his mindset going into the bag brawl and can he claw back up the rankings after such a big drop? Oh, look who showed up this Nationals. Hey, thanks for showing up, man. Mr. Power, how's it going, bro? It's going, man. You're sitting nice after the first National. We run into a problem in Atlantic City. You missed your flight. What happened there? Walk us through that. Uh, okay, so I had an early morning flight on Friday. Normally, I come always in the day before, but I decided it was good getting at six, uh, 7 in the morning. It was only an hour drive, so we were going to get a rental car and get there even by, like, 9 o'clock. Singles doesn't start till once. I had four hours to warm up. That's plenty of enough time. But then we had flight delay after flight delay, and like we were sitting on the uh, like runway for about like five, six hours, just ser looking ready to take off. They said we were the next ones out. We kept seeing different planes take off, and I just never ended up getting here till like four o'clock, so I missed singles. But you now it's putting me in a weird position. But as long as I can handle the seating from here going in, they dropped my worst national. So all I gotta do now is just perform. Now it's on yeah. me. All right, here we are. Singles has officially started, 1 p.m. We've already got some games underway. Cheyenne Renner already won. You're looking good today so far. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm trying to figure out the board. Some of them were sticky, some of them were a little bit faster. I started out throwing slick on that game, then I felt uncomfortable, so I flipped it back over and sticky. We'll see. You're not usually going to get a, 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 a match like this early, but obviously due to power missing the tournament AC singles, that's going to cause this type of action.
What's going on in your mind just, right now? Just got to start off a little bit too slow, but it's all right. We have a long loser bracket ahead of us. Just barrel down, grind out the games. Jordan Power, I mean, he was the favorite coming into this one. You mentioned rankings, right? My guy missed the Nationals, which gets him zero points for National 2. So you're going to find him at the bottom, like 240-something seed, but he can replace that later in the season. Every player is going to get to drop one of their Nationals. So he needs a good performance here tonight. He's not done. Don't count this yes. guy out. He did take the L, but he could easily come back and win this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Normally I don't have like a low, that low of a seat. I dropped further down from this in the flight, so that, that definitely wasn't helpful. I am very excited for this game. I love watching, of course, Cheyenne play. If I had to put my money on, on someone, I would go with uh, Devin Harbaugh. That, that yeah. was my, he's my pick. That was my pick. And stepping out. Ooh, Lewis has the potential to be four. For Devin Harbaugh moves on. Cheyenne Renner is still alive. We'll move down to the losers bracket. Here with our man Alex Rawls, all through Atlantic City as he made his wonderful run. He seems to be in the zone early. He's feeling confident. We talked to him earlier to see if he can make another run. Alex Rawls, the current number two seed in pro singles after coming in as the runner-up to Matthew Creek Killer at the Cornhole Mania Championships, is staying solid here in round three against Derek Holland. We're here with the reigning champ coming in uh, from Atlantic City. How are you playing so far today? What's the vibe? How's it going? I'm playing my game and so far it's working 3-0 so far. 3-0 you know so far. All right, loser bracket, in bracket B. We got Jordan Power now going heads up with Mr. Knee Stack. How are you feeling right now? Good, good, good. Ready to roll. I feel like I'm rolling now. I feel like, you know, games that like match potential right now. Tough matchup there. Let's look at the stats here. The kid was on fire. I mean, no matter how good you are, if a guy hits 80 out of 88 bags, what are you gonna do? I mean, he was up the middle. 80 out of 88 is absolutely bonkers, bro. Jesus, I suck at this sport. Two more nationals, so my one in Atlantic City is gonna drop off. This one will stay, yep. so I just gotta finish out the sack. Do good in Fourth of July one, do good in Worlds, and we'll see if top eight shakes out. And that was a tough loss, but keep rolling. That's all you can do. Now, let's go check in on our girl, Cheyenne Ritter. Here we've got Cheyenne up against Trevor Brooks in the loser bracket after a tough loss to Devin Harbaugh in round three. Don't be concerned about the guy holding up the phone right behind the score tower. That's her fiance, not a stalker creeping up on our girl. He live streams all of her matches. You got ice in your veins. Down 18, 7, 18, 9 at least. You're just full of poise. You don't get rattled. Wow. How are you feeling right now after that hard fought win? Um, a little shaky after that, but um, hopefully I can keep it going. Miss Cheyenne Renner showing us why she's a champ. <laughs> Hold up. Let's also take a minute to get to know the man behind the scenes and Cheyenne's biggest supporter, Brandon. Apparently, he slid into her DMs after watching her compete on ESPN in 2019 in a cornhole couple was born. Your lady just pulled off one hell of a comeback there. That looked incredible. When did you guys do the matching shoes? When did that kick off? Honestly, I don't remember. Uh, I think we actually went to the mall. We wanted the match, so we got the same <laughs> shoes. I mean, uh, we both play cornhole. We, you know, we love the sport, love playing together. Why not match the shoes? Alex Rawls looking nice right now. He hit a back-to-back -back bar of soap and a penguin in back-to-back -back rounds. He's gonna make a deep run today. The shoe game in the corridor world is something special, okay? Look good, play better. Feel, feel good. good. Feel good, feel good, play, play good. good, play good, pay good. Pay good. Right now the score's four on two. She's going up, missed. One point for Diane. All right, it's 
round seven, and we've got Cheyenne Renner going up against none other than the Cornhole Mania Pro Singles champ, Matthew Creek Killer, the quiet rookie who landed on our radar after his stellar performance in Atlantic City. Cheyenne's gonna have first bag. First bag blocker, Matthew flops. Got a battle. I knew I was going to do that. That'll do it. That's game. 21 to 14. Cheyenne wins. This is one hell of a run you're on right now. How are you feeling right now in this run? How are you, what's going on in your brain? Feeling hot. Hot. It's hot in here. To send Creek Killer home after the run he's been on, I got goosebumps. I'm so excited for you. Up next, you got you got Devin Harbaugh. Oh, man. Not too happy about that, since he's the one who put me in the loser's bracket, but we'll hey. give it a go again. After losing to Devin Harbaugh in round three, Cheyenne may have expressed some discomfort about facing off against him again in the loser bracket, but it sure didn't phase her on the court as she took him out 24 to 10. Cheyenne can thank her round 10 opponent, Mark Richards, for sending Harbaugh to the loser bracket. A stellar run up to round six, Richards, who we got to know better in Coral Mania in Atlantic City. <laughs> Did you ever get to me? I, I stressed her out a lot. Thank God I won that one, or uh, you might be not talking for a little while. <laughs> Richards lands in the loser bracket after a disappointing 17 to 21 loss to Tony Smith to now face off against Renner. Disappointed? I'm about to die. Diane Renner and Mark Richards play in the loser bracket final. So this game is for second and third place. Another veteran rookie matchup. This one both on and off the court. As Cheyenne and Brandon aren't the only couple with matching attire. Mark's girlfriend solidly repping and supporting her man in matching neon green and black jerseys today. We might have to start taking a closer look into these couples coordinating outfits. A four bagger for Mark Richards and an AA. Are you kidding me? Double four bagger. Cheyenne going up, bang. Perfect. <gasps> and puts his bag in. That's, that's, that's it, he doesn't even throw it. That's the ball game. I was enjoying the air show oh, and then the game man. ended. It's like I feel so focused by the end of the yeah. first game, then the next one starts, and it's like I'm all over the place. <sighs> that's annoying. Now that last game didn't go as we planned, but what a run by you, what a run. You win two, you lose to Harbaugh, you hit the loser bracket, you barrel through like three past champions, <laughs> including Harbaugh who sent you there. And then you you know, you know just finally hit a guy who didn't want to miss no bags. How are you feeling right now after that performance? Um, right now I'm a little upset about it, but I'm sure, give me about 10 minutes, I'll be, I'll be happy about it. Hey, again, I, I know it wasn't the outcome you wanted, but man, what a run. What, uh, the people you beat was incredible. You played great. I am just proud of you. Thank you. And looking forward to you. Uh, you're obviously in the female uh, finals, right? Yes. Doubles females finals. Still going to see you on TV no matter what. <laughs> we finally have our final. B bracket finals. Alex Rawls looking to make the broadcast for the third straight national. But Tanner Halbert is on a run right now uh, in the king seat. Let's see what happens. And this one to pick up. Two points, and he does right up the middle. Hey, four bagger wins it, Jeff. Yep. Again, it's one thing to be able to do replacement bags and blocks, but can you score off of it? We talk about it all the time. In for the win. Unless Alex can pull off some magic. And it is in. Is it over? Last bag for Rawls going way up top. Oh, not a bad attempt by Alex Rawls, but not enough. And Tanner Halbert comes all the way back to win it. We got a hell of a battle here. Uh, Mark Richards, up. he has a big task ahead of him. I mean, having a double dip Tony, Tony's on fire right now. But it's a 7-7 tie, so it's a heck of a matchup. We were talking to Tony Smith a little bit earlier. He said, I'm feeling good. I haven't seen that look in his eyes in a long time. He said, I'm feeling good. Mark Richard's been feeling good all year, so it's going to be an exciting match to see how it plays it out.
right, I'm here with my man Jamie Graham. Uh, obviously, last episode at Road to Airmail City, you were a big part of it. To get to the king seat, you beat Josh Holland 22 to zero, my man. You know, I mean, you're on a run right now. How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling good. I mean, the 22 to zero, I don't know if that was a fluke or what, but I mean, I started off hot, stayed the whole game hot. Uh, I know Josh Holland, he's from my conference. He's a great player. and. Uh, End up staying tough, man, and uh, end up pulling out in the win. Now, um, also, I've been watching now you on your journey on the internet. There, you're uh, you're on a journey, your exercise, weight loss journey. Are you, and you've already, you know, you're already down. I think you said you were down eight pounds your first week. Yes, sir. Uh, are you are you attributing maybe a little bit extra energy, a little bit more, a little bit more of that happening oh, from yeah. your new regiment? Oh yeah, for sure, man. I feel a lot better, man. Just eating healthy, and I'm feeling good, man. I'm not tired. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Hey, this time we're gonna go ahead. Let's get on that broadcast, baby. Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, after a long day of pro singles qualifying, down to our final four. First up, Jamie Graham and Jay Rubin. All right, all up to Jay Rubin now. He's done this, I mean, hundreds of times. Gotta get it. And he can't do it. So Jamie Graham advances into the finals here in Salt Lake City. He is back to form. All right, we're here with Jamie Graham's better half, Miss Kaylee Hunter, episode two, Airmail City. We talked a lot about you and your strong play and also your relationship. How you feeling that your man came out today, did his thing, and now he's on the broadcast? Feeling really good. He's been shooting good all day, and he's really been wanting this. He's been getting close like every national, and now he's here. <laughs> well, there we go, one game left. Second semifinal game right now. We got Tanner Halbert going heads up with Tony Smith. This is going to be electric. Let's get down there. This has got to be hard by Halbert. Oh, man. Gosh, wow. Did Tony's bag drop? Oh, wow. Look at them all. Fall. They all fall now. They, they count. They count. Yeah, they all they fell. Count. We sure it's not supposed to be dead bag. He's not walking with the bag. The bag's still moving around without a I just want to know who I got you. Oh wow. wow, Tony able to just sneak around on the right side. He's going airmail. And he hits the back side! What? Last bag for Tony. Oh, and that's gonna do, that's gonna be the point. Yeah, I think, I think that's all he needed to drop that. That's in. all yeah, he it. needs is a single point, and Tony Smith is gonna get the win. It flops in for the win to advance. How you feeling, man? Feel good. I feel like it, it's about time. There it is right there, my man, Tony Smith. He put together a hell of a game. We're excited to watch you and Jamie go heads up for the broadcast. And that's the wrap today. Day one in Salt Lake. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of crazy play, a little bit of controversy, but at the end of the day, tomorrow night on the broadcast, Tony Smith going heads up with Jamie Graham. Who's gonna win it? I don't know, we'll check it out. See you guys tomorrow. Tony Smith, Jamie Graham for the 2022 Bag Brawl Pro Singles Championship. Gentlemen, these bags are live. Tony Smith currently coming into this weekend, top 40 in the world, finished 2021 in the top 50. Jamie there on the left again, 12 career titles, second on the all time list and five career national wins. Got one of them, another four bagger from Jamie. He wants to try a bully shot here, push that bag out of the way, make it harder for Tony Smith to collect and can't do it. This is an opportunity for Tony Smith to get some momentum. If he can get both, he's gonna get three points. And he goes off the back of the board. Now it's a ball game. 17 to 2. Well, now Tony's going to give Jamie something to think about here. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Hits the clean airmail. This airmail felt like a dagger. This has got to be in by Tony Smith. And it is not. Jamie Graham, singles champion of the 2022 ACL Bad Brawl. Give it up, Jamie Graham, your 2022 Bad Brawl co-singles champion. Hell of a run by you. This is a really, really tough field. You got here to broadcast. Uh, walk us through what happened right there. As he didn't miss. I didn't capitalize, couldn't get a roll going. Bags are just bouncing instead of cutting or sliding. And he just took advantage. He came up a little bit short today, but that don't mean nothing, because it's still $100,000 on the line. You're Tony Smith, all right? Let's go, baby. Great work so, today. We'll hey. get him again. 21 to 2, Dude. my man. How are you feeling right now? You got to be feeling Dude. incredible, bro. <laughs> I was about to cry when I won, but I'm glad to be back, bro. I'm glad to be hey. back here, right here in Nationals first place. I'm glad to be back right here. Now you're the number one guy in the country. No okay. one player in the world right here. I hey, fire for him. That'll do it here in Salt Lake, guys. Jamie Graham takes home the win in dominant fashion here at the ACL Bag Brawl, putting him in number one position in the world and also number one position to head to Airmail City. So now I'm hopping in the truck. What's on to Chicago, the road continues. And don't forget guys, if you need a set of tires, don't break the bank. Head over to America's Neighborhood Tire Store, DiscountTire.com, take care of all your needs. Keep it safe on the road, see you guys in Chicago. It's not just a backyard game anymore, oh no, it's the real deal. Anyone can play and anyone can win. Let's go! Hey, does anybody know how to start a box truck? Is this a Tesla? Oh, I think I got it. Tire's a little ball, let's head into discount tire, huh? <laughs>